welcome to Making Meals with Mika, the kickback. Today, I got a couple of my friends here. We got Tangi and we got Ra Ra. Hey. And you know, you guys know the holidays are coming up and you know, people are going to be hosting parties. So I'm going to just share some of my party hosting ideas with you guys. Uh, but before I start, if you haven't liked or subscribed to my channel, go ahead, go and push that little like button real quick. Go ahead, subscribe. Um, and today we're going to be making a couple of my favorites. Now, this is a Latin themed kickback that we're having today. So we're going to do um, homemade margaritas. We're going to do um, some elotes. We're going to do some homemade guacamole. I'm also going to do some miniature um, burritos. And then we're going to have some stuffed jalapenos. So, you know, just kick back and get ready to hang out with us. Are y'all ready? Let's yeah. go. Let's go. Let's go. So, we're going to get started with the margaritas first. So, when my guests come, I like to have them liquored up. And yes, I don't yes. know if you guys know this, but um, I'm actually a licensed bartender. So, I'm going to teach you guys how to make homemade margaritas. I never purchased the store-made margarita mix because it has a lot of sugar, a lot of additives. So, this is going to be, if you can say, a healthy way to make an alcoholic beverage, this is a healthy way to do it. So, we're going to start with simple syrup. Now, all simple syrup is, is equals, um, equal amounts of water and sugar. You're going to put it on your stove. You're going to boil it. Once it comes to a boil, you're going to turn it off and just let it cool. So, in here, I have my simple syrup. Um, I also have freshly squeezed limes. Tangie came over earlier. She saw me squeezing these by hand. So, these are freshly squeezed limes. And then um, I love the lemon juice. This is organic lemon juice. Uh, I, now I could have done the lemons as well, but I really didn't have time for that. So this is a, a quick way to still get the, the fresh lemon, um, but you don't have to sit here and roll lemons and squeeze it all day because I wasn't squeezing limes and lemons. But this is organic um, lemon juice. So what you're going to do is I'm going to put this in my, in my I'm going to make a picture of them. Because I think uh, they they might be a little lightweight alcoholic. Lightweight. <laughs> that may not be enough. Might need to. Might need to. So we're gonna keep the party going. We're gonna have a picture. So you're gonna start with some white or clear tequila. Some good tequila now, because you don't want your friends going home with headaches or leaving too intoxicated. So we're gonna start with some light tequila. This is Blanca, right? Mm -hmm. Blanca. Blanca. All right. So we're gonna do. I'm gonna do two thirds. Yeah, spelling a little. I know. Yeah, catch it. Do I need to? Yeah, yeah. Do you all like here in the picture? Oh, all all like mm -hmm. I'm actually gonna put a cup of tequila in here, okay? And then the ratio is actually um, two to one. So I put one cup of tequila in here. So I'm gonna put two cups of uh, simple syrup in here, and then I'm also going to. Um, Put one cup of the lemon and the lime juice. So you add equal parts of lemon, lime juice, and tequila, and then you're going to double it for the simple syrup. Now, of course, based off of your your liquor preference, you might want you can you know you can add a little bit less of the simple syrup if you want to if you want it less sweet. For those of you who like really really stiff drinks out there. All right, so I have my tequila in here. I have my simple syrup. Now I'm going to add my lime juice. Then I'm going to add my lemon juice. Now you can also do a frozen version of this. I'm not doing frozen. I hope y'all like it on the rocks, ladies. Yeah, that's on the rocks. Okay. Favorite. Okay. People who like to drink typically like theirs on the rocks. I just, just want to go Drinking ahead. is your favorite. Go ahead and say that again. <laughs> Now, let me show you a little 
trick to do the to do the glass. Now, Tangy wanted the um she wanted a, a salted rim and then Rai Rai, she wanted a sugar rim. I'm gonna show you real quick how to do these rims. Alright, so you're gonna take your line. Now where's my where's my cutting board? I'm sorry. I guess I should have had this all prepared. This is impromptu, y'all. Sorry. So I'm gonna take your line. You're gonna quarter it. All right. Now that good that good lime juice is gonna go right around the, the rim of the glass. And then I have salt right here. Just gonna take it. And this is sea salt, actually, guys. I mean, but if you got the good, you know, regular table salt, you don't have to be fancy. You can use the table salt. All right, and then the same for the sugar. You can use the same line. Go around the rim. Roll it in the sugar. There you go. Now, don't mix them up. Salt, sugar, sugar right? Mm -hmm. All right, so we're doing these over the rock. And I always, always, always take my, uh, my margarita. I'm going to get everything mixed up in there. Needs to come the the lemon stops the browning process i use diced onions i use diced tomatoes i normally do not use cilantro because cilantro is not delicious let's just be 100 cilantro is not delicious but some people do like cilantro so because i'm not making this for myself i am going to put cilantro in here but i typically don't put cilantro in there because let me say again cilantro is not delicious i also use red pepper flakes salt pepper and a little bit of garlic powder so let's get started and make this guacamole. All right, so I have some, about four avocados in this bowl. Let me show you a quick way to cut your avocados. Take your knife, go around, okay? It's gonna be two sides, boom. How do you get that seed out? All you do is you just tap it with your knife, you turn, and look, it comes out. What I typically do is couple of cuts and look squeeze all that goodness comes right out now don't worry these are overly white ripe so you are going to see a little brown in there it's okay these are perfectly good to use no worries squeeze all that that good avocado out there you go then we're going to add some onions i say about a for this about a fourth of a cup of onions i love onions then we're going to add about a fourth of a cup of tomatoes. Now look, now this I told y'all this is approximate because I don't measure nothing. You just gotta use use your senses. And we're just gonna add a pinch of cilantro, okay? Because cilantro is not delicious. We already, we've already established that. I'm gonna squeeze my lemon. Now, with the lemons, you see how these seeds are? If you do not want your seeds, no one wants their seeds in their guacamole, hold your hand right here. And then what you can do is squeeze, and then your hand's going to automatically catch those 
the lemon seeds, or you can go this way. All right. So your your hands gonna catch those seeds. I mean, your hands will catch those seeds. My bad. So we're gonna squeeze the lemon in here, and I'm gonna put two lemons in here because I have so many avocados. And if your lemons aren't giving you all the juice that you need, did you know you can put your lemons in the microwave? Now, not for two, three, four minutes, just nuke them in the microwave for about 15 seconds. And then when you squeeze, all the juice will come out. So we're gonna squeeze that. See how my hand is catching those seeds? All right. Now, seasoning. Please don't spare on the seasoning for your guacamole. I love crushed red peppers. I'm going to put those in there. One, two, three, four, about five shakes. All right. Put a little garlic powder in there. Okay. Eyeball it. Put some pepper. Look, that's, that's looking, ooh, it smells so good right now. I can smell all the, all those seasonings. And then I'm going to put, I'm a little bit of fan, I'm a little fancy, so I do like sea salt. I'm going to put some sea salt in there. And then I have a secret ingredient. I got to go to the refrigerator. I have a secret ingredient that I put in my, I actually use just a little bit of jalapeno juice that gives it that spiciness all right and then i like mine chunky so you have to mix it to your consistency and you just keep mixing until it's all incorporated now mind you you're gonna have to taste this so if you taste it and you know it doesn't have enough flavor add a little bit of more salt a little bit of more is that even what well, we're gonna use it today a little bit of more um, add some more pepper, some garlic powder. So you have to have this to your your liking. All right. But right now it smells absolutely delicious. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue to mix this up. And then I'm going to show you how to serve this to your friends. It's time to feed my friends. So now what I have here, I have an array of different tortilla chips. I have some blue corn ones and I have some yellow corn ones. I just like different colors. You guys, people eat with their eyes first. So just make sure your display is really nice. And then I never put out all of it because uh, you know you're going to have some people come late. You know people are going to come late. Mm -hmm. So what I do is I just put out a portion of it, Tangie gonna come back to you. Tangie didn't beat you here, right? She beat you. She beat you. She beat you. Oh, the right. <laughs> so we're just gonna go put it, you know, pile it hot. Yes. You know, and then, you know, we have the the leftovers right there. But, you know, ladies, without further ado, go ahead, go ahead, dig in. Oh, to that good walk. Oh, delicious. Let me give me one of these. Yeah, two. absolutely. Pile it up. Mm. Let, me see, let me see what it's talking about. Now, while y'all snacking on this, I'm going to go ahead and do um, the, the mini beef and cheese burritos. Oh, awesome. Because those are going to be delicious as well. All right. Mm -hmm. All right, so just go ahead and enjoy that. Awesome. Let's get these uh, mm -hmm. burritos going. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so what? What y'all think about that that guacamole? No, it's, it's pretty amazing. Darn good. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, let me get another. Don't get another chip. Go on, get Just throw the points on y'all think we pay. Okay. Go ahead, eat it on again. So good. So next, we're about to assemble the uh, mini burritos. So while your guests are eating, you know the the guacamole, you can be assembling everything, and you want everything to come out hot. So in the mini burritos. Um, check out the comic section. I will give you the recipe for the ground turkey black bean mix. But I have ground turkey and black bean and onions with my homemade um, taco seasoning. I also have my own uh, cheese mix. And this is grated cheese. It's grated um, Monterey Jack and sharp cheddar. Now, I like to grade my own cheese and not get the shredded cheese. I know this takes a little bit more time. But when you do buy shredded cheese from the grocery store, I don't even know if y'all know this. 
but it has a coating on it. The coating is to keep the shreds from melting together like it naturally does. So I like to taste the, the cheese in its richness, its fullness. So I always grate my own cheese. So this is, like I said, sharp cheddar and Monterey Jack cheese. And we're also going to be using this same mixture for our stuffed peppers. So let me show you guys how to assemble these mini burritos. Oh, and I also top it off with an enchilada sauce. So I'm going to show you guys how to assemble these. And these takes about maybe like 10, 15 minutes from start to finish. Let me show you how to assemble your burritos. Now these are miniature ones. So this is the mixture. This is ground turkey black beans and onions it's really really simple you guys put that in there and then you're going to i love cheese load it up with the cheese look at that mm -hmm. load it with the cheese you're going to roll it once fold in the corners and then roll it again look at that ain't that cute that is so cute that is so cute and then you just continue to fold them and you're going to bake them for 10 minutes in a 350 degree oven. All right, all of the burritos are rolled up. I topped them with the enchilada sauce. They are about to go in the oven and we'll show you what they look like when they're done. We are about to make the stuffed jalapeno peppers. I wanna show you how to cut these jalapenos. These are very, very hot. All the spice comes in the seeds. So just gonna chop the top off. I like to cut mine in half. All right, and then you're gonna get down in there and you're gonna take all the middle out, all of it, okay, all of it. And then you're just gonna take all the seeds out. I have my trash right here next to me. You wanna take all the seeds out. You don't want any other seeds in there because that is the spicy part. And let me tell you, after you um, are handling your, your jalapenos, please wash your hands with salt and pepper, uh, with salt and pepper wash your hands with soap because i messed around and i you know i cut some earlier today put my hands in my face and I, I i burned it all up i mean i was on fire so make sure you wash your hands when you're done handling this but this is what it should look like and let me now we're going to make the mix for our stuffed jalapeno so we're going to put one package of cream cheese all right make sure that's uh, nice and smooth. Now, this is that same cheese mix that we used earlier today. We're just going to dump that in there. Now, this, this is about a cup and a half. I love mine cheesy. And then, you guys, flavor is everything. Flavor. Tangy. Rah, rah. They still here with me, y'all. Y'all just can't yes, see them. Yes, Tell yes. me about flavor. Do y'all like flavor? It's love. everything. It's everything. Everything. Now, listen. I'm just going to put a couple sprinkles. I told y'all I don't really measure. I eyeball it in the um, recipe. I'm going to try to approximate a couple sprinkles of garlic powder, a couple sprinkles of pepper, and then cumin is what gives you that smoky yes. flavor. Ah. Both that up with that good cumin, okay, that good cumin. And then we're just going to mix this until it's all gathered together, until it's all lightly mixed in. When you stuff your peppers, you're going to take this mixture. And don't be afraid, I told y'all before, to use your hands. You're going to have to get on in there and just fill each half up. And press it down now this is easily a vegetarian dish because you have your peppers and your cheese but y'all know me y'all know I like meat so what we're gonna do is we're gonna top this off with some bacon bits now you can actually wrap these in bacon but I found topping it with bacon bits is less greasy of course and less oily a little healthier um, but bacon makes everything taste better I'm just, I'm, I'm just, just, mm -hmm. Let's just be clear. Mm -hmm. Who says that? Let's be clear. Mm -hmm. Bacon makes that everything. That sounds like a rah rah. Yeah, that yeah. sounds like rah rah. Let's be clear. Like rah, rah. Bacon makes everything better. Mm -hmm. So, now listen, this don't have to be pretty right now, guys, because the cheese is going to ooze all over the place. So, you just make sure you have enough stuffing in all of them. So, is that an overstuff or a. 
definitely not a barely stuff. That no, like an over stuff. Yeah, I, I, you know what? You can say over stuff. Put it like this. You know, when I like to stuff stuff, I don't. When I like to stuff stuff, I don't <laughs> like. You know, you're like, where's the feeling? You know what I mean? Like, right. I like, I like it nice and 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 stuffed. Okay. So you can say you're gonna over stuff it, just stuff it to the rim. Okay. You know, I mean, you don't want to be skimpy. Um, so this is about this is one, two, three, four. So this is eight peppers. You want to estimate about two, two per guest, two halves per guest. Um, so you want them nice and, and filled. Okay. And then the best part comes, and you, as you can see, they're kind of jumbled in here. Now I'm I'm only, I'm using my my uh, my Pyrex dish. I love this dish. I use this for a lot of stuff, and I have this layered with aluminum foil because um, I just don't want the cheese sticking to it. I really don't. So once you have them all topped, let's say this is four peppers. This is eight. This is eight peppers. I'm sorry. Once you have them all stuffed, and this is where the magic happens. Yeah. Put that good bacon. Mm. And look, don't worry about putting too much. You know, bacon make everything delicious. <laughs> this is delicious, okay? This will be delicious. And we have our burritos in the stove, right, at 350. So when those come out, these going right on in. These going right on in. What y'all think? That's enough bacon? Mm -mm, never. No, just... <laughs> Ted's like, put the old bag, Mika. Put the old bag, Mika. <laughs> you know, bacon does add sodium and salt. So, yes. at the risk of not being too salty, I'm going to mm. go ahead and stop. But this is what it looks like. Now, look, that looks this delicious. delicious. Yes. All right, let's put these in the oven. So, I thought I would just show you guys how to do the corn right over the stove. So, this is about two pounds, not about, this is two pounds of frozen corn and I've already prepared it. Um, I just steamed it over the stove. Like I said, um, if you don't have fresh corn on the cob, frozen is the next best. I do not like canned vegetables. They have a lot of preservatives and additives and they also have a lot of sodium, which is not good for us. So now, this is my elotes uh, version. Um, I like to take recipes and make them my own. So now the original elotes actually calls for margarine. I haven't purchased margarine in about 20 years. So I'm going to use fresh butter. So I'm going to use about four tablespoons of butter because that's the deliciousness right there. It's absolutely delicious, right? Four tablespoons of butter. Now, those of you who, you know, are Latino, please don't be mad at me. Please don't say I'm messing up your recipe. I told you that I made this my own, okay? This is this is Mika's elotes. So, I got the butter. I'm going to put some salt, and I like sea salt, but you can use regular salt to season that up. Now, I don't use a lot of salt because the cojita cheese I'm going to use in here is quite salty itself. So, we got butter, salt. I put garlic in everything, every single thing. So I'm gonna put some garlic, a couple of sprinkles of garlic powder, and I'm gonna put some pepper. So my corn, you should be able to basically eat this. If you, if you, if I tasted this corn right now, it should be delicious, right? And I haven't even added everything else. So make sure that's all mixed in. Next, we're going to add mayonnaise. People, not Miracle Whip. Miracle Whip is delicious. Um, but it has a sweet component to it. So we're going to add some real mayonnaise. Like I said, I'm going to give you the approximates in the, um, in the recipe, in the comment section. But we're going to add some mayonnaise. Make it real nice and creamy and delicious. And as you see, I'm stirring it. All right. And then this is where the magic happens right here. This is cojita cheese. It's very, very crumbly. Um, I'm going to add about a cup of this to my corn. I'm going to stir it and let it get all melty and delicious. Now, I don't want to overcook my corn. I don't know about you guys, but if you overcook corn, it gets mushy and it's not delicious. So I'm going to turn the stove off right now. I'm just going to just let this all this marinate. 
and then I'm going to come back and show you how to serve this up when your guest comes. So it is time to start plating up our food. Now, I like to, like I said, when I have parties, I don't know, or kickbacks, I don't necessarily have everything all out. You know, when everyone comes in, I have a nice little pre-appetizer and now I'm going to start plating things. So first we are going to plate our burritos. They turned out beautifully. Bring them over here. to play stuff. I just like stuff to look, uh, my food to look pretty, and I like it to look um, symmetrical. Mm -hmm. Let me get another. So, I'm just going to go in here and take these off. Don't worry. It's going to stick just a little bit. That's just that cheese. Mm. For parties, I never put all of them out at once mm -hmm. because you know you're gonna have those late people coming, and I'm one of them. You know, I never go to a party on time. You know, I like to be uh, fashionably late. I like fashionably. to be fashionably late. I do. My husband, he is one of those people. I swear, if the party starts, if the party starts at eight o'clock. Timothy is walking up to the door at like 7.58. And, but that's actually kind of rude, though, because if you're hosting a party, you know you want to get everything together. You know, you got to make sure that you're together. So it's actually rude to come to a party early. So, no, you, you should have it together. Together. At so specified time. Yeah. Okay. What I'm it's saying good. is it's rude right. to come to Amen. a party early. If a party starts... At eight o'clock, don't don't get there. Don't get to the party at seven fifty. I'm gonna be upset. I'm not letting you in. Okay. <laughs> All right. So look. Now let, let me tell you how to make these pretty. Now I just got taco sauce. I got red taco sauce and I got green taco sauce. This is uh, salsa verde, which is my favorite. So what I'm gonna do is go on and just you know just just you know just drop it on top like that. And I'll drop it like it's hot. Not drop it like that. Everybody, you know, I just want to drop it like it's hot. See when I was shaking, she made me shake. And then you just take the red taco sauce. Now, are those spicy? This is not spicy. Oh, okay. No, and then you just no, sprinkle that. And then voila, there you go. You got you know, those are our baritos. I like to just play around with that accent. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. All right. Next, we're going to play our peppers. Now, Rashida asked if these peppers were hot. They actually are not spicy because I took out the seed. So with any type of hot pepper, the seed is where all the heat is. So I am really, really confident to say that these are not spicy. All right. And then I'm just going to, now sometimes you don't have to just put things down all nice and neat. You know, sometimes you just lay them off kind of randomly. If you lay them off randomly, it looks good like that. So I am going to randomly put these in here. Can I smell it? Y'all can't smell it. Look at all this cheese. I kind of just want to like put my finger in here and like eat the cheese. No, no, like no. if we wasn't filming, I would 100% cheese. I mean, don't act like y'all want to eat that cheese. It's your house. It's your house. Do it, Don't act like y'all want to eat that cheese that's on that aluminum foil now. I would eat the cheese. And the good thing about it is, all the cheese is on the foil and not on your your good um. Your yes, good no paint. cheese should be left behind. No, <laughs> well, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no <laughs> cheese left behind. Yes. So I'm gonna take these out and just put them on here. Ooh, look, you know what I'm telling you. Amazing. <laughs> Always. <laughs> no, I'm a little warrant 
to salt. Let me try some of that cheese. Let that cheese and bake. Let me try a little bit of that. Okay, those are the peppers. Okay, nice. That's hot. Now here come my favorite. I'm about to plate this good corn. Okay. Now I like tahini, which is a lime flavored seasoning. So with the corn, now mind you, you this is this is a little kickback. You know, finger foods. You want people to to be able to eat their food easily. So I saw these cute little cups, right? Isn't that cute? So the corn is still nice and hot. I'm going to put it in like that. Load it up. Okay. Load it up. Nice. I'm going to, you can never have too much cheese. Ever. Ever. Cheese or bacon? Cheese no or cheese. Bacon. Okay. No cheese. <laughs> no cheese. <laughs> Then we're going to top it with the tahini. The tahini is not spicy at all. Like I said, it's seasonings, but it's also lime. So I'm going to top it with the tahini. And then I'm going to put a little lime on the side. Look at that. Ooh, isn't that, isn't that cute? That isn't that cute? Yes. You just set that on out there like that. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. And then, you know, I mean, for garnish, you're listening. I'm going to put a little put cilantro. Cilantro is not delicious. I'll put a good little cilantro on there. But it makes it look cute. It does. It ain't delicious. I'll go ahead and pull mm -hmm. that off. So, I'm going to finish plating these. And then, ladies, are y'all ready to eat? Oh, yes. Absolutely. Yes, yes. Always ready to eat. Now, I'm not going to go and do all of them, but stay ready. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, that's not a lie. So, yeah. So here, so, here you go. So, you have a little kickback, you know. Ooh. You can have a, a Latino-inspired meal. Oh, let me go and put that good to you. Yeah. On. Don't short me on it. <laughs> the little, the little <laughs> cilantro. The cilantro that's not delicious. Okay. Again, it's just, it's just a, just put it we'll back. eat that, too. Right. So we have our chips and salsa. We have our elotes. We have our stuffed peppers, and we have our mini uh, turkey bean and cheese burritos. And then we also have, you know, um, just some some more little condiments, some sour cream, some um, jalapenos, and some salsa. So if y'all ready to party, let's go. Yeah. All right. Let's eat up. Yeah. All right. Thank you for joining me, making meals with Mika. The kickback hey. with TNG and Rara. Let's eat. Bye. Yeah.